Good morning, Mountain Lions. I'm here with Principal's Message, and I have an apology for you and your teachers because I did not have this out to anyone before school started on Monday. Um, that said, I don't have any good excuse except that I was busy and I forgot. So it's sort of a perfect example to talk about with our new character focus responsibility. I try to do lots of things to be responsible, responsible and live up to the commitments I make to you. And even sometimes um, when we're trying our hardest to do the right thing, to make good choices, to make sure we get our homework done, to make sure we follow rules, we make mistakes. What we have to do when we don't follow through and do exactly what we're supposed to do is accept responsibility. I accept responsibility for the fact that I did not get principal's message done on time, and I'm apologizing to you for that because I know that people rely on it and look forward to it. In the moments when we don't meet expectations that our parents or our teachers set for us, it's important not to deny um, or make excuses, but to simply say, you're right, I didn't do what I was supposed to do, and then promise to try to do better in the future. So I'm glad that I accidentally set up an example about responsibility because I accidentally was irresponsible and I feel bad about that and want to make a difference. That aside, there are a few things I just want to give you reminders about this week. One, the lines for going into lunch. When you line up in the hallway to go get your food after your recess at lunchtime, or even if you're the, the first grade level to eat, you have to remember that even though the hallway is outside, it's still a hallway, and that if you are loud in the hallway, you are disrupting the learning of the classes close to the hallway. When you enter the hallway, your voices need to be off. You need to be in straight, calm, silent lines, and there are no exceptions to that. So I'm going to be working with noon duty on reinforcing that and giving consequences for people who don't respect the needs of the hallway, which is quiet travel, um, and also make sure that they are prepared to reward the people who do remember and respect that with lots of green tickets. Because when you're making good choices and you are being responsible, respectful, and safe, we want to reinforce that. All right, my friends, again, I'm sorry for being irresponsible and not having principal's message to you on time. I'll work to do better. I hope you'll accept my apology, and I wish you a fantastic week.